Hi, today we're going to discuss our third part of service calculations, dryers and range. The code book is going to take us, is going to keep us in 220, and what we're going to discuss today is we're going to start with dryers. Okay, dryers are very simple. You're going to basically take your dryer and you're going to you're going to put it at 100%. You're going to take it at 100%. So line 11 is going to be taken at 100%. Now, if you go to article 22054, 22054 is going to tell you that you must have a dryer of not less than 5000 watts in line 11. So, what does that mean? Very simple. If I have a 4500 watt dryer that I'm installing, then I have to still calculate 5,000 watts. But what if I have a dryer that is calculated at 6,500 watts? Well, you don't put 5,000 in, you put the name plate rating, which is 6,500. So to basically make this easy, Article 220.54 states 5,000 watts or the nameplate rating, whichever is greater. Okay, so as long as you understand that in line 11, depending on the size of your dryer, we'll, de we'll decide what that's going to be. But remember, it cannot be less than 5,000 watts. Okay, on to part two of this video. We're going to discuss ranges. Ranges is going to take up our line 12. So, article 22055, we use the table. So, in order to calculate electric ranges, we have to go to table 22055. And table 22055. 22055 gives us our demand factor in percentages. Let's focus on this. Column A, less than three and a half kilowatts rating. Column B, three and a half kilowatt to eight, uh, eight and three quarter kilowatt. And then column C is minimum demand kilowatt. C notes, not over 12 kW rating. So you can see that I have a couple different things in my code book. Column A and column B, you can see that what I did is I put percent marks in here because anything that's in column A and anything that's in column B is going to be taken. Those numbers are percentages. When we get to column C, they're basically rated in, I put three zeros, so it tells me that they go to thousands. So the first one is 8,000, the second one would be 11,000, third one would be 14,000, and you get the picture. Okay, so there are a couple things that we saw in table 22055, and what did we see? We saw that the first column, column A and B, are percents. So, if you had a range that rated from uh, 8 and 3 quarter kilowatt or less, you're going to basically take it at 80% according to the code book. But, what if I have a 9,000 watt? What if I have up to a 12,000 watt? Here, here's how this works. Column C is designed for 1,000. So it gives you a number, 8, 11, okay, those numbers. Those numbers you have to add three zeros to. So if you haven't already opened up your code book, go in and write that in your code book. Like I said, if you've taken my class, you should already have this in your code book. If you're new, then definitely write it in the code book so you remember it. So here's how we work. We have to use that chart. So from eight and three quarter kilowatt down, we're going to take it 80% for the first one. C is set up so that it's basically giving you the value. Okay, this is your range value. So if I have one range that's between uh, eight and three quarter kilowatt to 12 kW, that's what's going to give, I'm going to use 8,000 for that. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to do any calculation, I'm not going to take 80% of it. Okay, that's for the eight and three quarter and less. 
Column C is a little bit different. Column C is the hardest to understand. But once you understand column C and how the notes coincide with it, it gets a little bit easier. And the only way to do it, practice makes perfect. So how does it work? If I have a 9,000 watt uh, electric range, well, that's going to take me to column C. My demand factor that goes in line 12 is going to be 8,000. I don't have to do any fancy math. If I have a 12,000 kW range, line 12 is going to get 8,000 kW. Why is it different? Guess what? I don't know. That's what the table tells us. That's the number we have to use. What happens if we have something larger than a 12? Okay. Let's say we have a 15. So we'll look at this. I have a 15 thousand watt range that I'm going to install. I have a 15,000 range that I'm installing. Note one basically states that for every kW over 12, you have to add 5% to the demand factor, or the demand load. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I've kind of come up with a little bit of a trick that kind of helps you remember this. I hope you take notes. So I know I have a 15,000 watt range. And I know 12 kW actually turns out to be 12,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus this. Okay, These cancel out, these cancel out. So what I'm, it's going to leave me is 12 minus 15 is what? 3. So what we have is we have 3 kW left over. So 3 kW, each kW states that we have to add 5%. So what I do is I take this 3 and I multiply it by 5 and it gives me 15%. So by doing that, you take whatever number you have minus 12 automatically Take that number, multiply it by 5, and the number you get for the answer becomes your percentage that you're going to be adding. What do we add? Our demand starts at 8,000. So how do I find out what my demand factor is for line 12? That's simple. I know I have 15%. I'm going to multiply 1.15 by 8,000. Because remember, we're dealing with one single range. So what we have to do is we're adding 15% to it. So I don't know if you guys have ever learned this, but if I add a 1 to my number, that's automatically giving me my number to begin with. So my 8,000 is always going to be there. It saves me a step in math. I love to save steps in math. So what happened, what do we do now is we take 8,000, we multiply it by 1.15. So now we take 8,000 and we multiply it by 1.15 and that gives us Ninety two hundred watts. Twelve. Line twelve is ranges. In this video, we covered dryers and we covered ranges. I will be doing a video later that will talk about multi ranges and multi dryers. But let's get through a single family service calculation first. I hope this video helped you understand how to size a range and a dryer. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You want to stay up to date with what we're doing. This little series of service calculations is one of many that we're going to be working on. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. Stay up to date with Craig Mashad, the electrical instructor. 
Have a great day and be safe.